Hi people, I'm Karsten, I'm the title prop and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, I painted last week my first three uh, Space Marines. Uh, I saw a video uh, weeks before from Lester Bursley, um, AersonPaintShop.com, he's a member from WGC, uh, how he was painting with transparent colors, uh, with candy colors from uh, badges. And um, it was very interesting how he was painting with the shadows and the light and uh, and the basic work was only uh, painted with with the airbrush and uh, I thought yeah I want to try this one but the problem was I have no candy colors here or I I have no uh, colors from badges here in Germany uh, I can't order this one here in Germany and I don't want to order this one from the states because I must pay too much money for the shipping from the States to Germany. I tried to dilute the colors, I tried to work with the highlights. Um, it was not so easy for me because uh, normally I'm building and painting World War II models and you're working the whole time with dark colors and sandy colors and uh, camouflage stuff. And it was, I think that tr it was a try, uh, it was not so successful. I tried to dilute uh, the colors uh, very strong. But yeah, I switched the camera, I'm looking for a new coffee and uh, then you can see the Space Marines. Catch you in a second. Okay, welcome back people. Um, first I want to show you what I build and paint normally that you can see the difference if you're working the whole time with camouflage colors or with dark colors. Uh, that you that the people maybe know uh, where the different is or what that the people need a different thinking if you're working with camouflage colors or if you're working with uh, very strong colors like orange or red or blue. Uh, first, uh, this is one of my tanks. I built uh, it's a panther tank, uh, but it's not important. But you can see that the brown and the green color. These are very dark colors, and you try to work with uh, streaking stuff and uh, the dust and the dirt stuff and dirty tracks and uh, rusty stuff around there. And uh, yeah, this is what I'm normally doing. And if you're working with World War Two miniatures. Um, it's the same, you're working with camouflage stuff, you have uh, stuff like this one here, uh, these are British paratroopers from 1944 and um, yeah, it's the same one, you're working with dark colors, uh, with green, uh, different green and uh, khaki stuff and yeah, this is what I'm normally build and paint and that's the reason why the Game workshop stuff is not so easy for me because you're thinking the whole time uh, in, in dark colors and then you have the uh, the yeah the strong colors like like orange and yellow and blue and gold and whatever. Okay, however, my first Space Marine. This is Mr. Red. This is Mr. Red. This is my first mar Marine, and uh, I try to make the same way like Lester Bursley but it was not so easy. I had no decals for the Space Marine and that's the reason why I used an um, old decal from uh, from a tank. And it looks... it's okay for me. And yeah, okay, I tried to make the same way like a dark base color and then a dark red. I tried to work with the 45 degrees uh, spraying with the uh, airbrush and highlight and yeah set a highlight here on the head and on the shoulder and uh, but it doesn't work you can't see the highlights and uh, it was not uh, so easy for me and now with the reflection the light you could see nothing maybe but this is my first space marine it was more or less a try and uh, I think it's not so bad, but uh, I want to work a little bit more with the uh, airbrush to bring more highlights, to see the highlights better, and uh, on the knees and on the helmet, and uh, yeah, this is my first red Space Marine. 
Yeah, okay, Mr. Red, you can go to the side. Now, the second one was Mr. Blue. Yeah, same tactic. Try to make a good base color. Highlight on the shoulder pads, helmet and knees with white and then with a very strong dilute blue over the miniature. But it doesn't work really good. Yeah, the reflection is a little bit too strong but it's too dark here in the moment. I need the light and uh, yeah I think it's not so bad uh, with the flamethrower. Uh, it was it, it it looks okay for me. It's not a uh, super miniature. I can't win a uh, golden demon with this one, but uh, I think it's not so bad. But the highlights are not so good. You can see uh, the different. It looks like uh, these are all blue, but um, yeah. This is Mr. Blue, and this is number two. And now number three, number three is doo -doo 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 -doo, it's Mr. Orange. I finished this one today, uh, and it has uh, the same color like an old VW Beetle from 1967. <laughs> yeah, I think if uh, yes, I'm not sure, but I. I guess my uh, dad has a VW Beetle uh, in the same color. Yeah, same here. No decals. That's the reason why I use the decal from from a tank, from a World War II tank. Yeah. Um, yeah, I tried the highlights. It looks a little bit better. I don't know why, but um, it was not so easy. And I used. Uh, a washing from Aka Interactive for NATO tanks. It's a very dark one and uh, yeah, it was not so bad, I guess. Yeah, and I forgot to screw a hole inside uh, the weapon. Looks not so good, but uh, yeah. These are my three Space Marines. My first try. My first baby step inside the GW universe, and uh, you know, I don't know. Tell me what you think about this one, um, and subscribe. Type to me and tell me, hey, Tata Prop, you have to do this one better, or this way, or this way. Uh, I'm happy about everyone who's typing on my channel, and uh, yeah. I switch the camera now, we're talking in a few seconds more. Okay people, welcome back and uh, now you saw uh, my first three Space Marines. Yeah, I think they are not so bad but I have to work a little bit more uh, uh, with the technique uh, and how to use the airbrush a little bit better and uh, I think I must work a little bit it's not not clean work but it was a try and uh, I want to see how it works in the next weeks when I work on other miniatures from GW or other sci-fi stuff I'm not sure okay um, this is the end now from the video. Uh, this, this is video number three and uh, thank you for watching the video. Please uh, subscribe and tell me what you think about the video and please tell me what you think about the miniatures uh, and what can I do to be a better painter. Uh, give me some tricks or some help or some ideas and um, I'm happy about everyone who's typing positive or negative stuff I can use everything and uh, yeah that's all greeting uh, to the coach and monkey Joe and um, thanks a lot for the nice videos from uh, WGC and yeah that's all at the moment I try to make uh, maybe in five days uh, another video and uh, yeah I hope I see you again on my channel and uh, have a nice weekend and 
catch you later. Bye bye.